I have to say that there are certain authors who I've been drawn to uh, almost uh, from the first time that I, I read one of their books. One of them was Barry Eisler and still is. I've read every single book, particularly the John Rain uh, books that he's written. And another is Don Winslow. Don Winslow uh, is, is a guy who writes in a very highly stylized way oftentimes about the drug trade down in Southern California, but his writing is so unique and unusual that I have to say that they were uh, instrumental in my uh, deciding really that I, I would love to write thrillers. But even more than that, they, they always say, write what you know. Steve Berry would say, write what you love. I would have to go with the latter. I love to write about uh, things and I love to write the kind of book that I would love to read. And I love to be captured by a novel and to read something that's going to make me wonder what every little kid wonders when you're reading, when the child is being told a story. What happens next? And I think that's the essence of any thriller, and that's what really made me decide to uh, begin writing thrillers. Well, I would have to say I really had fantasies about writing. Uh, going back to basically my, my childhood, I was a voracious reader and I read voraciously and I lived vicariously. When I was just a kid, I was reading uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan's books. Tarzan books, I also read extensively uh, Edgar Allan Poe, uh, uh, Jack London, the, the typical things I guess you'd expect from a, a, a kid to read. But I really had other priorities in terms of uh, ultimately having to work and earn a living. Uh, so I, I did various things and ultimately became a physician and then a psychiatrist. But the bottom line was that I always loved hearing and telling stories. And one thing that's uh, very clear in psychiatry is that you really listen to people who tell you their stories. And that was always a very, uh, it, was, it was tremendous uh, gratifying experience for me to listen to people tell me their stories and of course this impacted me and uh, when I would present case histories at seminars as, as a resident and at case conferences people would tell me you know when you present a case it sounds like a novel then I ended up writing uh, co-authoring five nonfiction self-help medical books uh, breast cancer heart disease child development things like that and we had to provide case histories to illustrate certain points that we're making and in providing the case histories we had to really tell a little bit of a story and we changed the patient's name of course and we did all kinds of things and I loved writing that stuff so much that I even gave these people dialogue in what was really just supposed to be an illustration uh, or a case history so I guess that was the beginning and I always knew I wanted to write and uh, at some point I decided I'm going to make that come true and that's what I've been doing